Hello folks, seems like it's been a while since I've been able to capture deep sky objects, but now I'm going after the Whirlpool Galaxy. It's um, after 2 a.m. here, and uh, let's see, the mean readout for my luminance filter is 1655. Uh, I'm doing 30 second exposures again, so I'm going to be capturing a lot of files. Um, Let's take a look at one Rye image, shall I? It's, even with my big refractor, it, it's it's a little thing. You know, I've had a big field of view here, so I'll probably crop a lot to bring the, the galaxy forward. And let's take a look at my guiding. Oh, there's a dither right there. Let's clear that. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm getting over the flu right now. Guiding hasn't been great today. It was breezy earlier, but it looks like the wind is finally settling down, and I'm guiding right now at about uh, 0.56. That's not too bad. I can live with that if it stays in that range the rest of the night, but I'm going to go to bed now. I'm getting kind of tired, so I'll see you guys later. Hey, so that first segment of the video you just saw where I started off by saying it seems like it's been a while, that was two weeks ago. And now I finally finished the Whirlpool Galaxy. I can't believe the, the bad weather we've been having. I'm not used to this, so um, I'm probably not going to be able to capture as many galaxies as I wanted to this season, because now the moon is coming back, so I'm really stuck probably for another 10 days or so. So I'm probably, I wanted to capture Leo's triplet, but that is now getting close to the meridian as soon as it gets dark so that one's probably off the list now i might do the sunflower galaxy next but let me show you what i've got here i actually captured over a thousand frames of luminance for the whirlpool galaxy about a thousand and fifty two i believe for about eight and a half hours of data and let me tell you it sucks doing 30 second exposures i'm probably going to have to drop my game back down to zero so i can do longer exposures that's rough it took about eight hours to stack on this i5 desktop. Well, let me show you what that looks like. So that's eight hours of luminance. And then I captured 90 minutes each of RGB data. That's my red. That's my green. And the blue got screwed up a little bit. I must have uh, screwed up my flats or something because I, I see blemishes here, um, here and here and Look at this crazy um, spot right there. Now, this spot is actually uh, a dust speck on my sensor, on the sensor itself. Um, the flats obviously did a good job of taking them out in these frames, but uh, obviously my, my flats are screwed up for blue. And, but you know what? I didn't even bother to recapture them because after I combined the data, the, the, it, it, these blemishes here disappeared, and I cropped away this speck. So let me show you what I've got here for the merge, or I should say combine. Well, this is what my RGB combine looked like after I ran. I ran the LRGB combine routine, and then I ran an ABE, and that's what I came up with. And after that, I ran the color calibration. So you can see what my color calibration looks like. I did the background neutralization and then the color calibration. So I'm, I'm liking the one on the right a lot better. And I should have done the compare with the, the PixInsights uh, photometry, if that's how you say that, the photometry color calibration, or the photometric color, color calibration. Um, but the last time I, I tried it, it pretty much matched what I was able to do with background neutralization and color calibration, so I kind of skipped it this time, but I should have just to, just to compare. Maybe next time, I gotta stop being lazy. So I, I'm, I'm still in that mode where I race through this stuff. <clears throat> and Chaos, um, the, he goes by the name Chaos on YouTube, was telling me about um, data normalization, and, and that would produce better colors as well, but I, I gotta get off my, my butt here and start, you know, looking at more possibilities of what you can do in pics and site because I'm still uh, I, my workflow is very bare bones still I know that and a lot of times I'm kind of just satisfied well I came up with this I'll take it you know 
But anyway, let, let's continue on here. So after I ran a um, histogram on my RGB and luminance data and then combined the added the loom to the RGB data, that's, that's what it looks like. And I brightened it up a little bit in this picture. And I thought it came out pretty good. I, I don't mind the colors right off the bat, but uh, of course I, I had this, oh, let's see what we can do. And then it's where I don't have a workflow. I, I'm in try anything mode. And this is what I've got. I tried to sharpen in Pixasite and even in Photoshop. I didn't really change any colors. It was more like just increasing the saturation in certain areas. I tried to bring out the core a little better and even here. So um, I much prefer the one on the right than the one on the left, but you know, each person would probably do things a little different, but that's what I got. And this is my final image. And I might actually make a new version, uh, a second version where I have a where it's more cropped and I might have to sharpen it a bit more just to bring it closer. But I don't know. I do like wide field shots like that. I mean, it's a small galaxy. Com compared to the Andromeda, this one's kind of small for my big, ref even for my big refractor. You know, I, if I had more focal length, I could really get in there and pick up more detail. Well, let me show you one more thing. Um, this is what I captured last year with my SET, and <clears throat> my SET could certainly have done a better job than this. It's just at that time I I don't think I really knew what I was doing. The background looks horrible. The galaxy itself doesn't look too bad, but it's not very sharp and it's kind of noisy compared to this one. But you know, I, I think I made a. Uh, some improvement since last year. Yeah. Anyway, that's what I've got. I don't. I don't think this was very informative for you. I know. I. I there's nothing how to in this video. But anyway, thanks for watching. Anyway, and I, I'm glad I finally finished a, a deep sky object. This is my first one all month, and it's already April 21st. Jeez. Um, that's all I got, folks. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.